What's up, Mad19 fans? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel, which is designed to help you give you practical tips that is going to help you get better at Madden 8, Madden 19. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at our offense. I'm going to give you a template system that you can utilize to take your offense to the next level and really help you design any scheme that you want. We're going to give you a sample scheme, and this is how I write all of my ebooks. This is how I play the game. It's a system, it's a template, and it can be applied to any season of Madden. So let's give it to you. Let's get right to it. Um, and this is the five sets for success adopt adopted from Z Frawls and S Gibbs. Okay, so what I do, they do the five sets for success. And what it basically states is we want to have five different formations for five different purposes. We want to have a man beating formation, we want to have a zone beating formation, we want to have a base formation, we want to have a three headed rushing attack formation, and we want to have an X factor or blitz beater uh, type of formation. In today's game, what I like to do is I like to have all of those components, but I want to be able to do it from one formation so that I can make everything look the same. Um, you guys know that I really believe that there are only really two major types of plays in Madden or football in general, and that is a power play and a counter play. Uh, I adopted um, a principle called the 80-20 principle, and I want to apply it to Madden. And so what I basically uh, really believe, if you want to be better at Madden, the best thing that you can do is to simplify your playbook down to the basic fundamentals and master the fundamentals before you scale up to running several formations at once. So uh, we are in the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook, and the gun spread is a really, really good formation to utilize this year because um, the game has done a lot to make the um, the game has done a lot to make formations like the gun bunch and gun trips less effective. And I believe that the gun spread is still one of the best offenses in the game. So the Arizona playbook gun spread. And what you want to do is when you're setting your audibles, you want to try to find these plays. So I want to find a major, a, a play that I want to utilize as my power play. For me, that is curl flats. That's the play that I want to run the most. And so I'm going to come out in that play every time. So what I'm going to do is put zone of shallow in because that's going to be our man beater. Four verticals is going to be our zone beater. And then I need a, uh, a good blitz beater. We're going to use the Zona Post Trail. And then I have my inside zone as well. And then and when I'm in a red zone situation, I might audible down to a red zone formation. Or I could actually uh, do a couple things from this formation. So the play that I want to come out in most, actually, um, Actually, let's let's change change zona post trail for zona flood. I actually like that a little bit better. All right, so the play that I want to come out in to start every single down is curl flats. Now again, you come out in these plays every time. Like it's literally, I come out in curl flats, I have my five plays, and I go. It's very very basic. It's very very fundamental, and thus it is very effective. So curl flats is a solid way to start playing the game. What I like to do with curl flats is I like to attack the wide side of the field. And so if you know Madden, what you know is that you're going to see a lot of Tampa 2. You're going to but you need a a base play to get started. And so I like to design curl flats to beat every coverage. And so here's here's the basics of what I try to do. I'm going to take Robinson and I am going to 9 times out of 10 put him on a drag route. I'm then going to take Taylor here. Uh, whoops, I accidentally motioned over Goodwin. I'm going to take triangle, the far, uh, the slot receiver on the left side, and put him on a streak route. The reason that I'm doing that is because in a situation where they're running cover two or they're running uh, maybe cover four, cover three, then what's going to happen is this slot corner is typically going to go with the streak because they don't want to have any big plays, and it's going to leave open Robinson or it's going to leave open Garcon. And then I put Garcon on a smart routed out route 
Okay? And then I take Goodwood, and this is this is critical. You can leave him on a curl, and he's going to do just fine. You can put him on a deep out if you wanted to. What I like to do, and this is a route that I think is going to be really good this year, is a smart routed in route. Smart routed in route, or a basic in route. You can get away with that too, but the smart routed in route. And he's going to be a very late read coming over the middle of the field. The first read on this play is Taylor. The second read is Garcon, and I basically read this left to right. And what you want to do whenever you're reading a play in the passing game is you want to look at the safeties and try to determine what coverage it is. But basically what's going to happen is you're going to see a lot of Tampa 2 this year. I know you will. It's the best, in my opinion, it's the best coverage in the game. I also kind of like to give Robinson a little bit of motion, and then we go. And what you're going to see here is the drag. If they're in a cover two, if they're in a what I call a bend but don't break style of defense where they're going to give up the short, the drag is a great option. And uh, a lot of people give dra the drag flat, uh, a lot of flack because it's not a big hitting play. I think drags this year are going to be very, very good because we are returning to a very fundamental game this year. Gone are the days of really complicated routes. It's going to be executing your simple routes, okay? Uh, but the out route is the power route of this year's game. And if they are not running a cover two, you have a really good shot at completing this out route on a consistent basis. So let's take a look here. So I'll show you this out route. If they're not, again, if they're not running cover two, you have a really good shot here. So basically what's going to happen, you're going to motion over. And if you see that the, the guy goes with him deep, you're just going to throw, um, I, I don't know. I've gone back and forth whether you should pass lead this or not. Um, you, you use your own judgment, but I like to basically, I like to give it a little bit of a pass lead. Um, let me see here. Cover six. And this is going to be a common formation, but just a quick out. Just a quick out on the far when, when you're in a spread formation, and it, again, all of these things are really important. When you're in a spread formation, it, it works better because you have these slot receivers to help elevate the performance of the play itself. Let me take a look here at a cover three buzz. So cover three buzz. Here we go. Same exact steps. Uh, I don't know what he did there. He ran a curl. Whoops. I'm sorry. I forgot to do my hot routes. The route to the running back is the only reason you really use this play, uh, but the route to the running back is a valuable route for exactly what we're trying to accomplish. So let me show you here, uh, cover three buzz. Okay, here's our cover three buzz. Again, just a quick out. And I actually like to, um, you can typically spin back in and that route will get open. Against, uh, so that's the major read against man-to-man -man coverage, basically against anything that's not a cover two. And it's normally open. If it's not open, then look to your next read. So the next read is Taylor. So Taylor's covered. Okay, he's not open. Against man-to-man -man coverage, though, this route right here to McKinnon is literally a, a beast of a route. Okay, this is the key to this play because what's going to happen is they're going to be so worried about stopping these out routes and these just fundamental routes they are not going to guard the running back. Most people don't guard the running back. And you have a crossing route and a, a little Texas-style route. Just a quick hitter. Fundamental football is what I love about the curl flats play. And it's very good because you're from a, a spread formation. The reason spread is really effective is because the defense has – they have to put um, – put systems in place to cover those two slot receivers. Those slot receivers and those quick streaks, those quick drags create a massive problem. So what happens if your opponent runs maybe cover two? Well, you want to look to the streak first. If you can fit that in, great. If not, you're going to be able to hit any of your crossing routes. Your drag is your number one option, um, but you also have the deep in route. So the deep in route is, a, is the last read on the play, and uh, the deep in route is primarily going to be something against a cover four uh, style of defense typically, but it's a very, very late read. And it's really what's going to happen is as you're playing user players, what they're going to do is they're going to go after your drag. They're going to go after your Texas route from the running back, and that's going to leave that deep in route wide open. Okay, guys, so that is your base play. You want to call this about 60% of the time. And so master this play, learn the reads, learn the ins and outs of it. And then here's a real quick tip for you. Whenever you're in gun spread, it's really easy reads. And so what you can do you run inside the zone, just motion him in, and then you go. And as you can see, it's just a quick, if they're not, if they're not, if they, if they, which they normally will do, because they have to honor it, if they are in a dime set or something that's not that, we can hit them with this inside zone. I don't know what's going on right now with the blocking, but um, 
here you'll see there's that inside zone. And it's just easy yards. You literally just walk forward. So, uh, again, that is the Arizona spread base play. Be sure to subscribe to the channel because we're going to have other installments. I'm gonna, Tomorrow I'm going to talk about a zone beater. The next day I'm going to talk about man beater. The next day I'm going to talk about a running offense. And then last day, and you don't want to miss this last day, we're going to be talking about red zone offense. And what I believe is the key to winning more games in Madden is to dominate in the red zone. So I want to thank you guys for watching and encourage you to be here tomorrow because we're going to be talking about some more strategies for you in Madden 19.